Hey, I'm Dieter Melhorn, and today I'm going fishing with Chad Bailey from Size Matters Guide Surface on some backwoods, low country rivers in the panhandle of Florida. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll tell you how this last minute trip came about. I'd come to Florida for a family funeral and uh, it was really planning just to come into town, spend two nights and head back. And uh, so I didn't pack any fishing clothes, fishing rods, didn't bring the boat, nothing like that. So uh, my wife had posted something about the funeral online and uh, somebody had saw it and invited me to come fish a catfish tournament which I wasn't able to fish it was an all-night tournament really appreciate the invitation would have loved to have done it but just was scheduling getting back and everything I wasn't able to do it so um, but then another guy uh, Chad Bailey from Size Matters Guide Service down here said hey dude I've got a guide trip and come jump on the boat with me you can film kind of see how we fish down here, what we do. And he said, the guy don't mind. That's awesome, you know, he said, no problem. So boom, uh, it worked out great. Uh, I hooked up with them and uh, got to go out and do some looking around. That's a cliff up there on that. Well, Chad showed up with a tank full of brim kind of waiting for it to get dark so we tried to catch a few more because there were a bunch right around the boat ramp. Oh. I don't know what it is about that little point right there. But... Alright guys we're on the water topping off the tank. We got a bunch of brim already but uh, putting a few more in the boat. Waiting for the sun to get down here, get a little dark. Gonna put this man at the front of the boat on a big fish. And for once, I don't have to fish. I don't have to do anything, sit back and watch. It's gonna be kind of cool. One of them good nights, hopefully, sometimes, man, you pull up to a spot, and I mean, you get, by the time you get four or five rods out, you get two or three of them going down. And if you can get that, yeah, that's good action anywhere you go in the country. After we got loaded up with some more bluegill, we had way more than we needed at this point. Uh, we took off up the river and uh, went to one of his places that he likes to fish, got anchored up, and put six baits out in the water. It's a pretty good current. It flows constantly here. It ain't like at home where it's on and off. And uh, this is some remote, backwood, desolate, dark rivers compared to what we got at home. So it was a real great opportunity to get out and see how they fish down here in Florida for flatheads fishing really tight the structure yeah so for the most part we're, we're gonna sit here and and watch them and when they start biting and they go down I mean you heave them with yeah, a slug yeah you're gonna give them a pretty good hook set okay uh, and we got 200 pound braid with 100 pound leaders and we're gonna be fishing so tight in the structure we're gonna use eight alt kale hooks and those eight alt kale hooks man I mean you you can pretty much rip into them but the biggest thing is moving them six feet off the bottom. I mean, there's so much structure on this river. Yeah. Laid six feet off the bottom. We're gonna fish right on top of it. So get when you set the hook, you get them out. And once you get them up off the bottom and you know, you get that fish's head towards you, you can you can slow down and enjoy the fight pretty good then. But man, if you don't if you don't move them that first six foot, you're you're done. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you see, we got, a, we got a good strong current in this river. Um, really cool up here they don't toss anchors out because I don't think you get them back with all the trees and brush that are at the bottom of this river so what they're doing is just clipping on to brush logs limbs that type of thing with a uh, bush hook bush grabber and uh, it's a great way to anchor your boat up pretty much anywhere you got a tree in the water see I think he's gonna get hung in that I think he's gonna get hung uh -huh. it's a bad place you need to be out there in the middle fishing. <laughs> There's got to be a water moccasin laid in there. There's got to be one. They can't bite you in August. Oh, okay. I thought that was a rule. I thought they got locked jaw or something. Yeah. Yep. I like your bush hook thing there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. 
That um, thing is really good, man. I've had that one for five years now, and I have a new one late at the house, and I'm waiting until that one completely lets me down, but. Oh, yeah. Hooked up. We hung. There we go, guys. We want to watch the man catch a big one. Probably would be a, a moccasin down in that. Yeah, that looks like moccasin yeah. territory right there. Yeah, good, good stuff there. All right, guys, we got set up in our first place. Um, got six rods out in the water, fishing them all on the bottom. Um, I think he had about half live bluegill and the other half cut bait. And uh, it wasn't long, and we had a nice blue hooked up and in the boat. And it was looking like it was going to be on fire. It looks pretty good. Very nice. All right. Because I don't have to do anything. I'm just sitting back and watching. It's actually kind of cool. I have this guilty feeling right now of not doing anything. But I'm letting that feeling go. Let this man catch a monster. And I'm going to watch him film it. And, and watch that man work his butt off all evening. Frozen solid. Tennessee torpa. Mad Catter HD. HD is very off. important, right? Absolutely. We're going to put this right here off that treetop and see if we can find an old Florida blue cat coming by. All right, guys, I'll give you the lay of the land. We're in a river. We're down near the coast, uh, Panhandle of Florida. This is low country stuff. It's just like being for us back home along the Carolina coast somewhere. Uh, constant current, one direction, no tidal effect. Stroking along pretty good out here. Basically set up on some trees, putting out some live and cut bait. Sit back and see who's hungry. Feel good in that current. He's down in that. He's down in that stuff too. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Bob, you've done this before, ain't you? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, that current, man, that current. Like a monster by the start, right? Oh, all right, man. Hey, I'll, I'll break the ice with that any day of the week. Heck yeah. There we go. Early start. Got a channel. Mm -hmm. uh, blue cat. It's popped out a little bit, ain't it? Nice. Can I take a picture of my camera? Oh, absolutely. Break the ice with that any day of the week, huh? Let's see. I'm gonna take a couple of them right here, just to make sure you get a a good one. I want to get one on my. Yeah, we got that first fish in the first 15 minutes. But as many of you know, sometimes when you catch one right away, it can be a curse. That's kind of what happened, because it was a slow bite, real slow bite. We fished a long, long time before we got on another fish. Fish, you, fish there, went to the next location, and we got hooked up. And what we got hooked up on was Chad's little funny rod that he had on the on the boat. I call it the Mighty Mite. It's a little bitty rod that he had, and he threw out for fun. It's only about two feet long. It looks like something your three-year-old fishes with. And he chunks it out for fun just to see what'll bite it and it'll hit it. Well, wouldn't you know it, he catches a 14-pound blue on this thing, and it is hilarious to see trying to get in, and trying to get it in the boat, and trying to get it in the net to get it into the boat. Yeah. 
tell you what, let's, uh, let's walk him around. Let's walk him this way. Under? Yep. We'll go under. You got a rod holder for it. Is he on the big one or the little one? We don't know. Okay. He's, on, he's on both of them, sort of. That's funny. He's on the big one. No? That's the, uh, that's the little one. That's the hook from the little one. All right, show, show, let's see the rod. Show the, show the little stubby so here. This is the sweet baby beast. The little stubby. All right, that's, the, that's a $17 Walmart <laughs> Fluger on the... On the nice. uh, on the big uh, Doc Demon with the 50 pound braid, and me and Bob just double team this fish. But hey, it's in the boat, right? <laughs> and the kale hook got him. There you go, the Florida freak show at work here. Oh man, can we jab that kill? As you can see, looking at that uh, fishing rod, that was a lot of fun, and we got a lot of good laughs out of it. And it was a little comic relief because it was a tough bite. We, it was a tough bite that night, and Chad busted his tail trying to get on fish. I think he stayed out an hour and a half past when he was supposed to come in, just trying to find something, some type of combination that works. He likes to catch fish and put his clients on good fish that bad he, he's very serious about it he loves it. he loves what he does we went out before the trip catching bait he spent a couple hours out catching uh, bluegill there in the river to make sure he had plenty of bait which he had an awesome amount of bait really above and beyond you can't ask for more than a guide size matters fishing uh, he's in the um, uh, panhandle area between Tallahassee and Pensacola up in there if you're ever in that area vacation in Panama Beach uh, around that area Check them out. It's some great river fishing for flatheads and blues uh, in the uh, rivers there in the low country of uh, Florida. So it's awesome. Check them out. Chad Bailey, Size Matters Fishing. And I'll put a link down in the description. That way you can check on it, click on it, friend him on uh, Facebook. So appreciate you watching. If you like the videos, just hit the uh, subscribe button down there. That way you can stay up to date on all the new ones. Leave any comments or questions down there in the uh, section below. Thanks, guys.